Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I wanted to do something I haven't done in a while this week and review some products. I joined up with Riding Warehouse to review some of their new Magic Equip products, which I saved to unbox with you guys. They sent me the new Magic Equip Estrella, I believe is the way you say the word, sparkle collection. I chose the color navy because I felt like navy might be a nice color on Doppler since he's a bay. So I chose the navy collection. This is a bonnet. And Ooh, it's so pretty. And then this is a lovely sparkle dressage pad. Hold on. So my initial thoughts are it looks great and durable. A lot of times uh, glitter or sparkle products get really stiff, but this feels pretty moldable and the inside is really soft. So I think Doppler will like it and it'll look great on him. I'm gonna go bring him in and I will groom and tack him up with you guys today with this new Magic Equip Estrella kit. And then we'll do a little bit of dressage work today. Dappler some alfalfa now, so I wanted him to finish his alfalfa before we tacked up. Oh, come on, it's okay. He's like, ugh, I used to have Mondays off, and now this lady makes me work. It's ridiculous. Oh. Speaking of Magic Equip products that you can buy on Riding Warehouse's website, I also have these lovely Magic Equip fly boots. Mine are kind of dirty because he's been wearing them outside. But I have struggled the last couple years with the fly boot thing. And one of my eventing friends on Instagram recommended these. And she also uses a lot of Magic Equip products. And I've had great success with these. They do protect from the flies, but they also can kind of move up and down if they like laid down or got them like stuck along their leg. So I've been really happy with them. Let's see. You can buy those on their website as well. And I can say after a few weeks of using them, I really like them and they work. I was really skeptical of the fact that I felt like flies could go down in the, in the hole, but they seem to not, so they work. <laughs> I groomed his body while he was eating his alfalfa, but I'm going to brush his legs off and pick his feet and then we will tack him up in our new gear. As you can see, they just have this strip of Velcro, which I also feel like is nice that it's flimsy enough. I feel like if they got it caught on something, it would rip. Sometimes you guys might see me uh, run my hands down their legs as I groom them and stuff. I've just gotten in the habit of trying to feel all of my horse's legs from working with upper level horses. So it's a good habit to get into. I'm always trying to tame his mane over, but the fly sheet neck piece always starts to mess it up.
Bonnets are always a good choice for Doppler because he kind of has a wimpy floor lock. Yeah, but you're cute. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Ooh, it's still a little humid today, but much cooler than it has been. It's been pretty miserable in the Northeast the last couple of weeks. I'm going to go get the saddle pad first. So again, this is a better view of the Magic Equip Estrella sparkle dressage pad. Again, in my initial thoughts, I like that it's super flexible, even though it has the sparkle material and it has a high wither mark. Doppler obviously has high withers, which is also why I have to use a half pad. Um, but so I like dressage pads that are cut higher up front. It looks bluer than it probably is in this light, but I think it's a great color on him. Okay, now if you guys remember, I, he is cold back, so I will put the saddle on here, and then I'm gonna put, I'll put the saddle on here, but I'm not gonna do the girth in the wash stall. I personally like to cut these um, saddle pieces off. I haven't done this, that on this half pad because I'm borrowing it. Um, but if I'm not going to use them, then I tuck them in. Probably would have made more sense for me to go with the black sparkle kit because as you can see I wear a lot of black but I thought that the navy would look really nice on him. He's just such a handsome guy. Right buddy? Just realized this is probably not a good angle. He's so patient with me. Okay, my first um, compliment of the bonnet is that it's the perfect blue to go with the little bit of blue sparkles on my bridle. Blue is definitely his color. Um, I don't know how I feel about square cuts. I've, I know that's like a big thing. I've just never used one before, but I think the color's perfect and the fit is great. It's um, snug on his ears without being too tight. There's plenty of wiggle room back here. This is a big pet peeve of mine is sometimes bonnets can be too short, but it seems to fit him really nicely. I've just never had a bonnet with the square cut before, so I'm not quite sure if it's falling in the right place, but it looks good to me, and the color and the fit looks great. So that's a win, and I really like that it matches my sparkle bridle. I'm gonna walk him out. And I will set my camera on the mounting block while I do the girth. And you guys can get a bit of a view. Okay, so since Dabbler is such a good boy at standing, I'll do a little walk around. This way, buddy. Lovely 
bonnet. Love the pad. I think it's, I think it has just the right amount of glitter without being too much. He's pretty unamused. today. I didn't have enough battery to film my lesson, but it was also really dark and indoors, so we wouldn't have been able to see much. I'm going to turn the fans on so I won't be talking for a minute because it'll be a little hard to hear, but I want to help him cool off while I bathe it. So I'm going to untack him and uh, let him cool under the fans. He's a really good boy. I love this set. It stayed really well in place which is my biggest pet peeve with thoroughbred is the saddle pad slipping and it stayed in place really well. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up my groom tack and ride vlog with my review of the magic equip equipment I got this week. Um, I think overall the pad's pretty lightweight. Um, it soaked up some good sweat, but it's not super thick. And like I said, it didn't slide around, so I was really happy with it. I felt like it was sparkly without being too extra. <laughs> so I really like it. I only have good things to say about Magic Equip products so far. Like I said, I got their fly boots too, and I love those. You can buy both of these products on the Riding Warehouse website. I'll link the products that I talked about today below. And I'm gonna take Doppler for a little graze. I feel like I've kind of covered a lot of stuff in the last few weeks trying to catch up. So if you guys have any questions, make sure that you comment below. Also, this may not flow with my thoughts, but 
to add this in as I laid it out to dry this material the hair comes up really easy which is awesome if any of you guys know a lot of the pads really hold the hair on so I love whatever material this is that they are using a plus he looks like a full-on armored horse but it keeps him happy so anything to keep him happy anything to keep this boy happy right all right that's a wrap for today and as always please subscribe hit the bell for notifications and i'll see you guys next time